Yeah. Um, but oh, check it out! Flying batteries here now. But like, um, uh, Yay! so when I but when I plugged them in, I had like just like a bunch of like 100% complete Sonic uh, my game since I was such a Sega nerd as a kid, and they were all just suddenly you know <laughs> mushroom on Mushroom Hill, and I'm like, what? Where'd my level select go? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so I am. Uh, so I just like pulled it out and I'm uh, played I'm a. Uh, Played on uh, Sonic and Knuckles for a while instead, and then I tried it again later and was just absolutely blown away when I decided to just start playing a Knuckles game, and found out that um, uh, Angel Island Zone had a completely different layout for Act Two. I was like, "Whoa, what?" Oh yeah, I remember it like playing Act Two as Sonic and getting to the point where you where the paths diverge and being really like, "Oh yeah, I, I everybody saw that here. rock." When they played Sonic 3 the first time, and were like, "Whoa, I should be able to break this. Like, Why can't I break this?" Yeah, yeah. like everything about Even with this the fire like, shield. Yeah, I, I kept trying to hit it with the fire shield. Yeah, so like that's, that's, that's what fix literally it. everybody did. And then you play Sonic, and then you lock Sonic and Knuckles on like years later, or oh, he uh, can however just long walk later. Through these walls. And he just like strolls right through it, like boom. And you're like, "Oh, so that's what was happening." Why did you do this to me, Sega? <laughs> Honestly, like, it's kind of crazy that Sonic 3 and Knuckles even exists, because, like, I cannot imagine any other company, um, uh, like, you know, making one game, then splitting it into two games, and then giving you a way to put them back together. I mean, there were some Satellifew games like that, and maybe you didn't really get a way to put those the Super to, Game yeah. Boy. Yeah. The closest thing I can think I of would be, like, I don't know, like, multi-part Trails games nowadays? Yeah, but like um, uh, but like we're talking like 1994. This shit was on. Right, this no. is yeah. This is like a hardware expansion pack, Sonic and Knuckles, really. Yeah. I mean, why, I would. Why didn't Sonic and Knuckles have an SVP one chip and incredibly hideous freaking? I'm just saying, like 3D any, stages. Any other company I can think of, if they split a game in half, it would just be two games now. There wouldn't be even. They the... them, when did, did they release them later or? Same year. Um. It yeah. was nine months apart. Yeah, February for Sonic 3, I think due to some sort of McDonald's tie-in promotion, they had to get the game out in time, but it wasn't done because it was so fucking huge, so they put it in two parts. So Sonic and Knuckles was sort of like, I guess, the, the pre-sage of uh, on-disc DLC or something. That's, I'm a, it's, what? It's the no. true ending being locked off by DLC, yeah. Where the entire levels on the first... Cartoons. Sort of, like um, not uh, all of them. You, not all of them, like um, uh, and honestly, this they, they somebody like you know ripped apart the um, uh, ROMs and figured out for them uh that this game that this level was supposed to be in between. You know, this is a Sonic Knuckles level, the one I'm in right now, but they put it on the Sonic Three half because the Sonic Three hackers are um, uh, crazy people who have said, ah, well, of course we should um, uh, follow the original level order. I mean, I like it this way. I think it. I think it improves the pace of the game a lot more because otherwise you get like three really long, sort of maze-like levels all at once, and it's just uh, it kind of drags it down a little bit. But like the the regular Sonic card doesn't have like knuckles. No, stuff in the, the regular, like, regular yeah. Sonic card right. does not let you play as knuckles. Um, mm -hmm. uh, there are, however, like loads of um, uh, of like assets and like you know little hints that um, uh, that the Sonic that Sonic and Knuckles was supposed to be a part of it. There, I think there is yeah. basically all of Knuckles' it. roots for the Sonic Three stages exist in Sonic Three. Right, you can't oh, get into. Well, you can absolutely but see like no, the issue Knuckles. we already had. Yeah. Yeah, Knuckles is just entirely yeah. playable. Yeah, Knuckles is Knuckles. just Knuckles yeah. just isn't even selectable. He's not. He's not implemented he was in the just, game. But like he yeah. was just basically unfinished. Yep. Not there at all. Yeah. Like all you get is Sonic Three is what was done at the time. Yeah, yeah what you get is basically yeah. you spread there being an asshole. And then years later, I borrowed it off a friend in high school, Damn and that was the only I one he had. So I never actually, world. I never gave it back, and I never got to play Sonic and Knuckles. That was the, that was your oh, okay. You that never gave gone. it back, and therefore never got to play Sonic and Knuckles. See, in high school, I got the PC version too, which was great because it was all of the games yeah, in one. Yeah, I had except, the PC version as well. Yeah, I mean, it was pretty good. Except the music. The music's kind of weird. Yeah, there's some odd music stuff going on. Especially if you go with the uh, general MIDI arrangements. Way go The The FM, FM synth arrangements for, like, I guess the idea being the old Sound Blaster cards. Those arrangements were for levels like uh, Hydra City Act 2, a little bit closer to the original games. But, like, the general MIDI arrangements were actually, even for 
like so like weird. the regular levels that didn't otherwise have their music changed, like very slightly different in noticeable ways. Can we go? Can I go back in time and replace my Sonic and Knuckles collection with the Sonic and Garfield pack? <laughs> oh no. man! <laughs> Featuring I mean, I, Sonic Three, Sonic and Knuckles, cool. Sonic Three and Knuckles, Garfield Cotton the Egg, and Baku Baku Animal for some reason. Oh shit, <laughs> Baku Baku Animal. I always forget that came to PC. I just I, yeah. for me like the second PC stuff I got was all was just the Sonic stuff really. And I guess technically Sega Smash Pack too cuz that was part of oh, it. Oh god. It was like uh, I still love the I just love how 90s that concept is. Like here finally Sonic and Garfield together at last. Shit. Oh no, push push the leftmost bikes. Nope. Did you do that? Nope. He didn't. Oh ah. no. <laughs> Gotta oh, go that was where the uh, that was where one of the uh, special stages was. Well, just for the record. Bad. <laughs> <laughs> gotta go back. Beach doesn't care, gotta go fast. Beach never nope. cared. Plus I already have gotta... hypersonic, so yeah. whatever. I mean I like the fifty it rings, just been fun so to show me. <laughs> I guess it would be nice to know where a single big ring is in this level since I know ex where exactly yeah. zero of them are, but yeah, yep. fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just, I love the fact, <laughs> I, I have to go. The, um, the animal capture thingies. Oh yeah. Yeah, they That's really had cool. a good time with these. They do a lot of that in this one, because there's also like the fake spikes in uh, Marble Garden. Oh yeah, yeah, they, 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 they mess with you a little bit in this one. Also, the uh, music in this stone is super great. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it because it and the mini boss theme are obviously supposed to be pretty, uh, like, thematically similar in terms of the, the, like, structure to them. I always thought it would be a little bit better as more of like a Death Egg Zone song, but I'm a little weird. Like that. Death Egg song. Because I think, like, the music for Death Egg always sounded a little bit more like Metropolis from Sonic 2. And then you've got this stage, which is a lot closer to like Metropolis. I'm having Wing trouble Fortress remembering. Zone. Oh wait, no, I remember Death Egg Zone. I don't really think it sounds that much like Metropolis. <sighs> but then I'm, I'm it's it's subtle. Barely remember it. And you're like a music guy who does the musics. <laughs> yeah, I think that's part of it. Is like way back in high school, I I tried to play a whole bunch of like Sonic music by ear. So I recorded like onto this old four track thing, some really oh, weird no. attempts at trying to play the Sonic music by ear. So it sort of sounds like some, some weird electric Miles Davis crap, only it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Nice. I mean, I love electric Miles. Like I have a video on my channel, which is just Sonic 3, but all the music is, is on the corner, so. <laughs> I just want to go back in time and think about how much that Sega was like really interested in selling you Garfield Cotton the Act. <laughs> they they get like there's one of the handful of things you could get at, on Sega Channel was freaking a lost levels comp compilation of like cut levels from Garfield Cotton the Act. Wow, that's amazing! I love because Sega Channel. I wish Garfield. I had it. Love Garfield. You he love it. You can play it with Sonic. He's their best friend now. I mean, Sega Channel got us Pulse Man and Golden Axe 3 and other crazy stuff like that. Of Pulse course, those Man two games... Good. Golden Axe 3 was not so good. It, yeah, it, it was kind of dated even at the time. Golden Axe... The tragedy of Golden Axe is that there was never any home for Re Revenge of Death Adder. Yes, I agree 100%. that game is rad. Yes, extremely. No home for Death Adders. There is no world just for Death Adder. Man, Sega's handling of that entire franchise is among their strangest. <laughs> Sega's is talking a weird, weird company, like, in yeah. so many ways. Mm -hmm. can, can we talk about the, the PS2 Golden Axe game, the, the no. one in the Sega Classics arcade collection? Oh, that one's so hideous. Can we talk about the Master System one, where in order to avoid Sprite Flicker, they just turn everything into a moving background layer? Oh, that's amazing. That's some, uh, wow. a lot of things have done that. I think Gauntlet does that as well. 
Like it probably. doesn't work. I mean, Gauntlet has day. a lot of shit on screen. No, yeah, that's that's how it does it. It's it's not, the the, um, uh, the enemies are all actually just a background layer. In this case, it doesn't work very well. I would imagine not. I I don't think the the master system would be especially because I think those are fairly large sprites in that game. They're huge. They try like, to make you, get it, to the, you get to the big yeah. boys in the, at the end of the first level, and it's just like, well, yeah. <laughs> Like, because they tried to have everything, I think, it, around the same scale as, like, the Genesis version in Arcade, as, as close as they could. And, yeah, yeah it, it's it's what I call the revenge of uh, the, excuse me, the Shadow Dancer problem, because that it's game... Pretty- yes. Oh, God, the Master System port wow. of... Wow. They, they tried. They definitely tried. They really wanted to. They were trying so hard. I own that game just because, you know... I, I feel like I need to have a copy of this mess, along with, like, Thunderblade. Alright, I'm gonna, like, just, interrupt you guys oh, to talk about system. how weird yeah. that just was. Namely, the fact that... The entire uh, fight is weird. No, it's, it's the fact that they put, like, literally a mini-boss uh, before the regular boss. Like, I don't know what the fuck, man. <laughs> I mean, no, I it assume it was to be climactic. It, it probably fucked with people who, who got that far in Sonic 2, and it's like... I, I can't hit this guy, and the, the beams keep closing in, and... Oh yeah, but, God, like, it's how not the same. <laughs> it, it's very similar to the Sonic 2 one. I, I don't remember if the Sonic 2 one makes the um, area smaller. I'm pretty sure it does. No, it doesn't, actually. There uh, are just, like, okay, three platforms okay. that float around, and you it have to jump up and actually hit the eye. Normal. It has a smaller boss arena than normal in Sonic 2, as I recall, but it's not, like, it doesn't shrink at all as the fight is going on. Yeah, I think Golden Axe might be the worst Sega 3D classic or Sega 3D Ages game. Yeah, I think like I think the rest of the the games in that collection are all somewhere between middling and pretty good. And then there's there's Golden Axe, and it's just oh god, it's hideous. I remember seeing um, uh, some screenshots of I think uh, Fantasy Star Two. I want to say there there yeah. is Fantasy Star Generation two, but that wasn't on that collection. It's a two nope. D remake made by the people who made Lunar Silver Star Story Complete. Huh. I wonder was that any good? I don't know. Uh, okay. It's better than all the others, but it's not the remake that Fantasy Star. Needs. All right, here we go. My favorite level in the game. 